Hi guys, my name is Greg Cackett. I am from the legendary GB Bobsleigh. I've been asked to produce a series of vlogs for Team GB to kind of document our approach to the Beijing Olympics. I'm coming to you from beautiful Koenigsegg in Bavaria. Uh, we've got a World Cup this week. This vlog's going to be a little bit different to what I had planned. Um, obviously the rigours of a bobsleigh season, you know, you're going up to 90 miles per hour in a teeny little baked bean can. Um, the chances for injury are high. Um, and at the moment our crew has been decimated by injury for the second year in a row. So my plans for doing things as a kind of a meet the team uh, have kind of been scuppered. So I didn't want to do this as a high Ungrade Kakit and this is my journey. It's about the, t the crew of Team Bobsleigh Brad. It's about our crew's journey to the, uh, to the Olympics the GB1 sled, uh, I'm proud to say. We also had a nightmare at Christmas when we couldn't get home. Uh, the COVID situation worsened with the new variant and the borders closed at Calais. After that happened, uh, it, it wasn't so much the fact we couldn't get home, it was the fact we didn't think we'd get back out in the new year. So the boys all had to make a decision, did we want to go home and gamble not coming back out but have Christmas with our families or stay um, and, uh, and, and miss Christmas and have Christmas in Germany, which is lovely as it is where we are because it would have been here. Um, was just not what we wanted to do. And certainly not during a pandemic as well when, you know, we kind of took the decision that family was more important and, uh, and we gambled and went home and sat and thankfully we, uh, we got back out. So it was all okay in the end. So that was one little highlight. Um, and things have been really tough. Um, I wanted to do a really cool setup, you know, meet the team, all the guys, like kind of, you know, BBC style interviews and everything and make it a bit different and a bit more interesting. But I haven't been able to do any of it because they're all injured. So <laughs> yeah, you just got me. Um, so what I'm going to do for this first vlog, I'm going to give you a few snapshots of different things we've been doing um, a day at the track. Um, what happened in the Winterberg World Cup week when we first lost uh, Nick Gleeson to a big hamstring tear. We then get to Moritz, where I didn't film a lot of footage because uh, our teammate Sam Blanchett ruptured his Achilles. So it's been a nightmare. Um, and we've got this race in Koenigsegg this week. Uh, to date, this is January the 21st. So somewhere through January now, and it's just, uh, it's not been an ideal setup, but we persevere, we keep going. Hope you enjoy the, what the vlog has to offer. Um, if you don't, then unfollow Team GB, that's fine. And then hopefully in the second vlog, We'll do a full meet the team and you'll meet all the guys and hopefully their injuries will be healed. Or I'll just interview them in the hospital wards that they happen to be in at the time. COVID permitting. All right, shut up. Get out. Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you what it's like to have a day at the track, because I'm not sliding. This guy's sliding. Sam, wave to the camera. He's in a mood with me. We've also got, does he? There's going to be Dorsey, Taylor and Sam in the sled today. Tell the camera how much you love sliding. Yay. Let's do it. All right, boys, come on, show us your best load. Ready? Stop! Left hand lid. Majestic, boys. So Taylor, can you just look at the camera, mate? Tell us why we do these. No. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> We, no, we, no, we do these so we uh, basically just drill the load in so when we go to the ice it feels as natural as possible or as natural as it can feel. Let my hands in. Boom! Fuck! Fuck! Good end! Boys. Okay, Luke, do you want to explain to us what uh, what the purpose of sliding is or what sliding is? Practice makes perfect at the end of the day. Um, while we're not competing on the World Cup, we still need to slide. We do it to uh, keep our um, edges about ourselves. Uh, obviously Brad needs to go down the track. We can kind of do our job on a push track, even though it's not exactly the same um, as doing it for real life. But there's nothing that can uh, replicate driving as doing it for, for Brad. So as much as we can, we get on ice when we're not competing. Uh, so we end up spending at least six months of a, the year in Europe or North America um, and typical training day will consist of probably two to four slides depending on how Brad's feeling, doesn't care about how the brakeman's feeling. Naturally. Uh, 
real negative wins. Are you all trying to get me down? That's Jen though. Look who it is, it's Ollie Bids. What's How you doing, Greg? Now I'm here with uh, Better Lane Smith Skeleton. Big Lovely. support, big support for the next couple of weeks. It's good to see you boys, we'll see you nice social distance of course. That's it, and everyone wearing masks. Everyone wearing masks. <laughs> So this is our little warm-up bit. You can see they'll be doing strides, drills, all sorts up here. That beautiful mountainscape. And here goes some double luge. Okay, so Big Nick, talk us through uh, talk us through the Koenigs A start track. Start what? This is the start. These are the start rules. They keep the sled in line. Talk us through the sled, mate. We have a runner, we have some shims to stop the runner wobbling in the runner shoe. We have a nut and bolt to stop said runner flying off when we go down the bobsleigh track. And killing us all. The runner shoe is connected to the front axle, connected to the rest of the frame. As for the base plate, this is also a very important piece of equipment. If it doesn't have all of its screws in there, it becomes very dangerous and it can fly off coming down the track. That's why it always needs to be screwed in with every screw. Thank God we've got that covered. Hey Sarah. This is Sarah from uh, Team Australia. Say hi to everyone at Team GB. Hi, hi GB. Yeah, that's enough of you. I can't do it, boys. Go on, Nick, how is it? Yeah, my, my tumor, mate. Fuck, that, Are you coming that's in on that? Cool. Oh, that's like... My, 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 nah. oh. I can't, I can't last long. Very cold. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I can't go in deep with that. I'm standing here. This is me.
because of Taylor, take 45. Yeah. <laughs> it's Taylor. What's up, Rachel? Hello. I'm Nick. Together we are depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that frame's cold. Yep. 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 Ouch! Okay, boys. Smash. Yep. 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 Hey, Brad. So, uh, how, how did Winterberg go? <laughs> Marvellous. Could not have gone any better. Wonderful. Bit. Wrong. What went wrong? wrong? Well, the benefit is you came, you know, just outside top six. Top six European champs. That's a good thing. Hello. Oh, bed interviews, is it? Well, you know what? We've got Moritz next week. Not over yet. And plenty more World Cups to lead up to World Champs, right? I guess you put it that way, but what? What else could possibly go wrong? Hey. Hey. Next Touch wood! <laughs> Touch wood! <laughs> <laughs> How are we feeling about yesterday, bro? Um, yesterday. What about a top three and a top five push? Top three Boom and in. top five push. Uh, I think the top five would have been quicker. Obviously, the last two steps before I got in, my hamstring decided to be a Greg Cackett and be weak. Um, Shut that bit out. Yeah. No, you're keeping that bit in. <laughs> um, so I think the, the, the top five would have been a uh, possibly another top three, maybe a top four. Um, so that's good. But the hamstring pull is not. But the hamstring pull <laughs> is not. Hopefully we'll get a scan on it tomorrow morning. Uh, a week of rehab. We've got three weeks of World Cup races left until the World Championships. If it means I have to miss all three weeks of racing, then so be it. Just so we can go back to Altenburg at the World Championships, back in the two-man hopefully, um, and do some cowabunga, unga bunga stuff. Fantastic. We're going to be fine, man. Onwards and upwards and all that. Beautiful. That's not my injured leg. <laughs> <laughs> that one is! <laughs>And that's it. And that brings us up to now. So <laughs> that was quite an abrupt end, I know. But like I said, uh, last week in San Maritz, um, I was hoping to get a load of footage for uh, the preparation for the races and stuff like that. Uh, things went kind of crazy and I uh, didn't have the time um, with lots of other stuff that came up. And then uh, Sam, big Sam Blanchet, sadly ruptured his Achilles, a full rupture in, tra in the warm up. I was holding uh, onto him. So we do a, a warm up drill where you have a, a, a power band around the hip and I hold him like a harness and he sort of runs or bounds away. And on one of his bounds, the Achilles went and uh, it literally completely ruptured. So we had to quickly turn around a race, which we still managed to get top 10 in, um, get to the hospital to see Sam, sort out his surgical options and uh, hopefully get him back for the summer. So there's gonna be a lot more coming up in the next vlogs about how he recovers from that, how Nick recovers from his injury. And yeah, and hopefully from here, we have a smoother route to the Beijing games. It's never dull. But that's an Olympic journey, and that's an Olympic journey in bobsleigh as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that first vlog. Tune in again. See you soon.